let's take up another problem which appeared in jam 2018 and here in this particular problem we have this cyclopentanone which in the first step is treated with titanium chloride in zinc copper alloy and in the next step with cold alkaline KMnO4 followed by treatment with H2SO4. So these are the four options that we are given. So the first step of this particular reaction is a name reaction which is called McMurray coupling or McMurray reaction. McMurray reaction. Okay. In this particular reaction, whenever we have these ketones or aldehydes, whenever they are treated with TiCl4 or TiCl3 in presence of zinc copper alloy or reducing agents like lithium aluminum hydride it leads to the formation of alkene this is exactly what is happening over here so in the first step we have this TiCl4 3 zinc copper alloy it leads to the formation of this alkene and in the second step what we are doing we are treating this alkene with cold KMnO4 which leads to the formation of dihydroxyl derivative that is it is carrying out the dihydroxylation of double bond so this is what is happening cold alkaline KMnO4 And in the third step, we are adding is H2SO4, which is nothing but a source of H plus ion. So any of these OH groups can attack. So what it does, it leads to the formation of this intermediate OH2 plus ion and then the water is removed from the reaction which leads to the formation of this particular carbocation now this is interesting what happens here here now there is a ring expansion that takes place so now you have this single bond attacking this carbocation and it leads to the formation of six member ring so we have this six membered ring and then this five membered ring and this positive charge now is on this carbon. This can be easily understood if we can simply name that. Let's name this carbon one, two, three, four, five and this one is six. Okay. So this particular carbon where bond is forming is six and this is one, this is two, this is four, this is sorry four, this is five. So we have a new bond formation between 5 and 6. This is exactly what is happening. And then since this bond is attacking, the positive charge will be on carbon 1. This is where it is. Now, what happens now? This lone pair of electron oxygen, they come here. And then we have this particular intermediate. And then deprotonation leads to the formation of this ring expanded product okay and if we look at the options it clearly matches with option d so option d is the correct answer so this is how you should approach these sort of reactions and sometimes one of the steps in a particular reaction is usually a name reaction for example over here it was the mcmurray reaction so whenever you have these ketones and then you see a Lewis acids like TaCl3 then it leads to the formation of coupling between the two ketonic or aldehydic species to form the alkenes. So that is how you approach this problem. Okay. So in case if you have any confusion, any topics or questions you want me to cover, you can send me your emails on unlockchemistry at gmail.com. Thank you.